Grade 8 math number 12.2b, identifying a right triangle. We saw in the last video that we can use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to help us solve problems. Converse means reversed order. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We do it c squared equals a squared plus b squared for the converse. See? And it's useful when we have the length of the hypotenuse and the other side lengths a or b. So the converse of the Pythagorean theorem if c squared equals a squared plus b squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Just like if we did it the other way around, we would know it's a right triangle, right? Now, this is what you need to remember. If we know two side measures, then we use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared. And if we know three side lengths, we use the converse, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. See? Now, let's find out if these are right triangles or not. If we're given side measures 9 inches, 40 inches, and 41 inches, we know the longest is always going to be C. So we can let A equal the 9 inches, B equal the 40 inches, and C equal the 41 inches. And we'll write it with the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that gives us 9 squared plus 40 squared plus 41 squared. We do the math. 9 times 9 is 81. And 40 times 40 is 1,600, 1,600. And 41 times 41 is 1,681. See that? And when we add the 1,600 and the 81, we get 1,681 equals 1,681. Now, because both sides, 41 squared equals 1,681, see that? And the 9 squared plus the 40 squared equals 1,681. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem proves these measures will make a right triangle. All right, so here's a little more explanation. Here's the Pythagorean theorem. It says 81 plus the 1600 equals 1681. And the converse says this 1681, just like this one, equals 81 plus 1600. So that means it's true. And both statements are true. This is called biconditional, by the way. And it proves. It's proved by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So remember, if you have two measures, this is good. If you have three measures, that's good, all right? Let's check another one out. Is it a right triangle? Now remember, the longest one is always C, and that's 12 meters, okay? So we have 8 meters, 10 meters, and 12 meters. So we assign the 12 meters as C, and 8 meters can be A, and 10 meters can be B. So we've got 8 squared plus 10 squared equals 12 squared. 8 times 8 is 64, 10 times 10 is 100, 100 plus 64 is 164, but 12 times 12 is 144, so no, this is not a right triangle. These are not equal to each other. So c squared is not equal to a squared plus b squared, and it proved to not be a right triangle by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. See that? Now, this works even if the side lengths are irrational numbers, like pi or the square root of 2. You can use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So if you have three measures and one of them is an irrational number, like pi, it works for him, it'll work, okay? You can use the converse, all right? So that was identifying a right triangle. In our next video, 12.2c, we're going to talk about using the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to solve a real-world problem, a real-life problem, okay? So we'll show you how this can really work in real life, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.